Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist again, and I'm back again with uh, another very informative, uh, quick tutorial here on YouTube, or whatever you're watching this video on. So, for people who don't know me, or this is the first video that uh, you're watching here on YouTube, uh, I'm basically a mining geologist with a background in mining and geology and I'm here to make mining trainings and uh, knowledge very affordable for everyone. We have like uh, trainings and YouTube videos so make sure to check our uh, YouTube channel. You'll find a lot of uh, you know uh, good uh, videos that will help you a lot. So we're not that kind of channel that post you know, random videos and sometimes you post, you know, geology related videos. So we're sticking to this field. So this is the channel for you. So make sure to smash that subscribe button and follow us here on YouTube and our social media. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how to actually clip this uh, topography that we've generated in the previous video. Uh, I'll put in the link to how we got this topography. So you can go and clip this one. So why would someone clip this topography? So if you noticed, if you've watched the previous video, we've talked about that your client might need a topography and he can actually afford a survey or a drone survey. So you got this topography for free for any place on earth, you can get a topography for Three. So let's say that he's actually interested in this region in here, so not the whole topography. How do we get only this one so we can use it and export it to, you know, mining packages and use this for whatever the purpose that you want, whether it is uh, mine design or, you know, geological modeling or any other thing that you want to use this topography for. So it is as easy as typing here, clip. And you will notice because what we actually want to do is clipping this topography. The good thing about QGIS is that if you're not familiar with the software, all you have to do is to have that keyword in mind. So if you want to combine, for example, two raster files or doing some mosaicing or, you know, clipping or, uh, you know, uh, any kind of thing that you're thinking about, all you have to do is to try to put in some keywords in here and a bunch of, you know, scripts will appear and based on the name, you can uh, think what is the next step or what you can do with that script exactly. So you can see here what, that we have extract uh, or clip by extent. So we need to specify some sort of coordinates to uh, clip this. So you can do that manually or, but we don't want to do that. So we want to clip this uh, vector file. Let's go, we are interested in clipping a vector by uh, not actually a raster file, so we're interested in vectors here. So clip vector by extent or clip vector by a mask. So we want to clip this by a mask, but we don't have a mask, so we need to create one. So we are going to create a new layer. So we have this layer, this layer, and this layer. We need to go and create a new layer. Where do you think we are going to find the layer? Uh, or create a new layer. Of course, it's going to be in the layer menu. So let's click on that. Are we going to add a layer or create one? We are going to create one. So let's go and create a layer. And uh, we can go and create uh, a new shapefile layer and save that in uh, you know specified directory in our uh, computer. Or we can start with a temporary scratch layer. If you want to know more about these, uh, I'll leave a link below to you know. Uh, a course that we've created you can go and check that out we have a lot of in-depth you know uh, videos that cover the whole software or and some you know related uh, problem-solving you know uh, videos so let's go and click on this one so we're creating a new scratch layer and we're actually going to create a polygon we don't want a line or a point so we want a polygon and let's make sure that we have the same coordinate system and click on OK. So this is actually the new scratch layer that we've created. And let's go and start digitizing. So you need to toggle editing first and then go and start digitizing. We're interested, let's say, in this spot here. Okay, when you finish, right click 
and you get yourself this polygon you can go and take this one and throw it in the top and when you're happy with this one you can go and uh, select it and click on this one again and save it so that we stop editing now we can go and use this clip vector by a mask double click on this one and we need to tell the software the input layer is actually our contours and the mask layer is the new scratch layer that we've created make sure that both of them have the same coordinate system so we got that covered and all we have to do now is to run the uh, the script it may take some time depending on uh, the the contour that you want to clip or whatever the shape file that you want to clip but it was fast in our case so it is called clip so you can go and save this or export it as a DXF file a shape file or whatever thing that you want so DXF file is actually supported by all the mining packages so you can go and import that and use it as your you know uh, topography so let's go and hide everything else and you can see that we have that clip topography in here and we can go and check the the attribute table and you notice that we have the elevation that we've created from the previous uh, tutorial I hope this was informative for you make sure to subscribe and like this video share it with anyone who's interested and check out our other videos you'll find something uh, that might interest you and see you in another uh, tutorial.